اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سبحان کا لا علم لنا الا ما علمتنا انک انت العلیم الحکیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی گونا ڈو دا 11th لیکچر اف اٹومیٹا تھیوری ان دس لیکچر وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ کانٹیکسٹ فری گرامر سو کانٹیکسٹ فری گرامر کانٹیکسٹ فری گرامر از ا فارمل سیٹ اف رولز ٹو پروڈیوس ورڈز اف ا لینگویج The language generated by a context-free grammar is called context-free language, right? So the language that is generated by a CFG will be called a context-free language. And uh, it is more general than regular language, unlike regular language, which was a restricted language and uh, consists of some, uh, some, some restricted uh, parameters. Uh, context-free grammar is uh, a little bit general than uh, regular language. Uh, just like in the um, last lecture in which we uh, were uh, improving that uh, uh, a power n and b power n was not a regular language but in this way we will be able to uh, produce a language that will be context free so it means that every regular language is also a context free language while every context free language is not a regular language and later we will understand that how uh, this uh, chomsky hierarchy is but uh, for now just remember that a regular language uh, is uh, just a sub subset it is the smallest set of language is a very restricted language so first there is a regular language and then we have a context free language so regular language is inside a context free language it means that regular language is also a context free language but every context free language will not be considered a regular language all right uh, it incorporates the recursive definition of languages into uh, into production rules just like in the first lecture and which we uh, discussed that how can we uh, derive a language uh, uh, define a language so there was a way in which we were able to uh, discuss a language uh, you, uh, in a recursive manner so uh, context free grammar is basically uh, the conversion of recursive definition of language into some production rules and to some standard rules and thus a language is generated uh, it is used to check the syntax of mathematical expressions it is very important because uh, in compiler construction we come across uh, different situations in which we usually compare uh, we usually check the syntax of some things uh just like uh, syntactic errors or syntax errors so uh, here you can see that uh, at uh, through context free grammar we check the syntax of mathematical expressions similarly sentences in natural language processing similar in patterns in pattern matching etc uh, that's why it is used in compiler construction natural language processing uh, just uh, uh, you may have uh, uh, know that uh, Uh, in C++ we have syntax for everything like uh, f statement has its own structure and its own, its own syntax similarly of a declaration of a function a function call definition of a function variable declaration everything in C++ or any programming language follows uh, a strict res uh, restricted syntax so this syntax is actually defined using context free grammar uh now we are going to define the context free grammar in a uh, formal method so formally it consists of four tuples and some non terminal symbols some non terminal symbols are there uh, and similarly some terminal symbols there will be some terminal symbols which are the alphabets of the language right so the language we are going to uh, 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 derive uh will have some alphabets and th those alphabets will be considered uh, the terminals similarly one of the non terminal one of the non terminals symbols one of the non terminal symbols is starting symbol okay so uh, uh, in the non terminal symbols one will be considered as starting symbol and then the fourth one is some production rules so this is the fourth tuple in which a non terminal symbol is replaced with either a non terminal or terminal symbol according to the context the language defines we will discuss just in a while so here is the formal definition that a grammar g is uh, grammar g consists of four tuples 
and which the first tuple is n here you can see that uh, n is the set of non-terminal symbols t is the set of terminal symbols s is uh, a single uh, starting symbol from the non-terminals and p is the production rules uh, the set of production rules uh, which will define in this way there uh, in which you can see that the, uh, there is a production p and which a non-terminal symbol is replaced with the uh, either terminal or non-terminal or their combination this static represents that any combination of this so just like the closure closure of t union n will be equal to either t either n similarly either t t either n n non-terminal followed by another non-terminals and so on and also t and t for example t a terminal 4 by a non-terminal 5 by a terminal 5 by followed by another non-terminal so this is how you can uh, uh, define uh, this syntax in this expression that t union n whole story right that is the closure of t union n context for grammar with the help of some examples so let's consider the first example that is the simple addition statement the simple addition statement uh, it means that an expression that only consistent uh, addition operator will look like a plus b plus c plus d plus so on okay so a plus b plus so where a and b are operands while plus is the only operator used in it and the general syntax will be like this one that operand plus operand okay and followed by a, a closure of plus operand okay so uh, it means that we first have a plus b at least for a single uh, because it is a binary operator so uh, a plus b and if we want to continue this expression then we can add plus c followed by plus d plus e and so on so this is the simplest uh, simplest uh, expression that you wanna uh, uh, derive using context free grammar so first we look at that uh, uh, what is included in the expression or sentence what is it in included so uh, the things which are included in this expression is plus uh, sorry operand and plus operand and plus okay so only two things are involved in this expression and they are operand and plus so they are terminals so terminal is a set that consists of operand and uh, an operator that is plus so first we'll uh, have a start symbol s that will be replaced with some x plus x okay so here is the x is a non-terminal symbol okay so x is a non-terminal symbol so s can be replaced with uh, x plus x this is the first production now x x can be replaced with an, an operand okay or x can be replaced with the x plus x okay and uh, this can also be written as a uh, first we uh, for example take it so uh, we uh, if we uh, derive some expression so we'll follow this rule that s can be replaced with x plus x uh, and x is replaced with o and then this plus uh, and followed by another x and this is o so the first expression that uh, operand plus operand uh, or any a plus b has been derived using this expression now consider this one s can be replaced with s plus s and s can be replaced with o and this is equivalent to the uh, uh, this previous grammar these are the two grammar uh, presenting the same expression now consider an example uh, in this example we uh, want to derive an expression that uh, consists of uh, all possible operators like plus minus multiplication and division okay so the general syntax of this expression will like uh, uh, operation operand followed by operator followed by some another operand and it follows by the closure of operator and operand okay so the 
grammar for uh, this expression will be uh, here we can see that uh, uh, the terminal or operand and the uh, all operators here so here is the grammar and uh, for this grammar consider we want to derive this expression that o plus o minus o static o divided by o and plus o so we will start from uh, the starts uh, production this is the starting production the st uh, starting production is s can be replaced with x m x okay so next what we will have to do we will have to replace uh, this x uh, so that it matches uh, this syntax and uh, here it is that is o plus okay so basically this x is, with, is replaced with some operate, operand and m is replaced with plus using uh, this and uh, this production now we'll have to replace this production uh, this x with the again x m x okay so we'll get x m x now we will again uh, replace this production uh, this x and this m with the samples that match the, this that match this uh, syntax that is operand minus so we will replace m by minus and x by operand so here is it o plus o minus x again we will replace x with x m x uh, following this production so uh, it will become o plus o minus x m x because this x is now being replaced with x m x again we will have to replace this x uh, so that it matches uh, uh, this pattern and that is o static so we will replace uh, x with o and uh, m with multiplication so it will become o plus o minus o static x again x will be replaced with x m x and again x will be replaced with the uh, o and m will be replaced with division so here we are o plus o minus o static o divided by x and again we will have to replace x with x m x and then this time we will replace x with o and m with plus and we will get this one eventually we'll get this one because this final x is also been replaced with o we are, we are because we are at the end of this expression and this way uh, you can see that the above expression has been validated and it has been found that this expression follows this grammar or we can say that the syntax of this expression has been defined by this grammar so every uh, expression that is the uh, that is produced by uh, some uh, operand that whatever it is integers or uh, maybe some variables and uh, then these four operators so this grammar will recognize that uh, expression now consider a grammar for c++ variable declaration how we declare uh, variables in c++ you know that uh, we usually write uh, data type first you write data type of the variable then name of the variable and then semicolon to end for a single variable and if we are declaring multiple variables in the same line of code then we write data type followed by variable name one comma variable name two comma variable name three comma and up to so on at the end there is a semicolon so for this expression we have <coughs> a grammar like this this grammar states that uh, start will be like this there, there will be some data types so because it is non terminal followed by some variables and followed by some uh, followed by semicolon now what are actually data types so data types so we are not uh, mentioning here data type or integer float characters etc uh, but we are interested in this x that's this variable so x can be replaced with variable a simple variable okay so for example integer x or it can be replaced with the uh, slash uh, slash means that x can also be replaced with variable comma 
x variable comma followed by another x and x can also be replaced with another x so uh, you can see here that uh, you can also write uh, uh, this single production in these three productions and this you can see that x can be replaced with a variable x can be replaced with variable comma x or x can be replaced with x okay now consider we are recognizing this declaration that integer a comma b comma uh, c and semicolon if you are recognizing this syntax uh, using this grammar we will start from the start uh, production and the start production is that is can be replaced with dx now we will have to uh, keep the d as it is for example it is integer float whatever it is it is a set of uh, data types so, so we will uh, we'll replace the d with an integer and now it is the time to uh, 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 follow the productions of x but here it is a and followed by a comma so what the what production we will follow we will select this production or this option here that is variable comma x so x can be replaced with the variable comma x so a comma and followed by x and semicolon is in its place now it is time again to be uh, to select b comma so for that again we will have to follow this pattern that is variable comma x so it will be uh, integer a that was the previous one a, a comma that was the previous one and next time the x has been replaced with b comma x so variable comma some x and finally we are uh, we are here to replace x with some variable and for this time we will select this option this production so integer x a comma b and comma c x has been replaced with c so this declaration has been verified by our grammar so this grammar is basically checking the syntax of variable declaration in c plus plus okay so whenever we are declaring a, a variable in c plus plus then compiler uses this uh, type of grammar to check whether the declaration is correct or not if we miss something for example if we uh, do not write a, a semicolon at the end okay or uh, for example if we uh, do not write a here and start with a comma here then the compiler will tell us that there is a syntax error and because uh, the syntax of this expression doesn't matches with uh, doesn't match with the uh, uh, CFG for the uh, for the declaration. Consider a grammar for C plus for for loop for loop statement. It's another example. So for loop uh, is basically written as a for. Here is initialization, and uh, this static shows that it can be empty. So we may have a for loop in which there is no initialization but there must be a semicolon followed by conditional statement followed by a conditional statement and that is not optional that is mandatory uh, but you can also skip this and this is also optional in C++ okay and followed by increment and decrement operator and it's direct also represent that it's also optional and followed by uh, curly braces open braces and then closing braces and in between the braces there are statements statement or statements so the corresponding uh, declaration will be like s can be replaced with for that is the keyword that must match first then there will be a, a opening parenthesis and uh, followed by uh, some uh, i that will represent initialization then c that will represent some condition then uh, increment decrement and followed by uh, what st st means body of the loop okay <coughs> and then there will be uh, a, a semicolon okay so this is the one option and it can also be replaced with for initialization condition increment decrement 
and followed by a block of statement so if there is a single statement then we have will have just a statement followed by semicolon we need not have a curly brackets but if there are more than statements in the uh, body of the for loop then we will have to enclose that body in the curly brackets so we have two alternatives for uh, uh, defining the syntax of for loop and here is the initialization so initialization can either be lambda or uh, some sort of k that can be initialization okay uh, k k is basically the, the the previous grammar that we are defined declaration declaration type of thing that integer uh, data type followed by some f and f can be replaced with variable is equal to some constant etc and followed by some r where r can be replaced with comma f or lambda so this is the uh, uh, definition of initialization because initialization what we write actually we write integer x is equal to 1 for example integer x is equal to 1 and we can have only x is equal to 1 so for integer x is equal to 1 or integer i is equal to 1 so if you check this syntax uh, sorry um this statement with this grammar uh, this grammar you will be able to understand that it is it has been recognized by this part of grammar and for the conditional statement conditional statement is actually conditional statement variable or constant and rational operator followed by variable or constant okay so this is just a, a, a blueprint of conditional statement a conditional statement can also be just like a boolean type of thing a boolean type of expression but here we are just using the relational operator condition the condition in which the relational operator is used okay and uh, here is the increment decrement so increment decrement can uh, can either be lambda there are no increment decrement operator it can be variable plus 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 variable minus minus variable variable plus plus oh, sorry variable minus minus okay so here is a minor mistake and it can be variable plus is equal to a constant or variable minus is equal to a constant so uh, this is basically the uh, increment decrement operation and a block block may be a block of code now consider bracket balance mathematical expression the previous expressions that we judged one one was just for plus operator and another was the combination of plus minus multiplication and division but now we are going to uh, introduce bra bracket balanced it means that uh, uh, expression in which uh, there are uh, parentheses and brackets uh, and they should be in balance in order to uh, validate that expression so here is the expression f open should be closed here's the principle if a bracket opens that should be closed nested brackets uh, and brackets followed by other brackets so these are basically the three things that we should keep in uh, account so our grammar will look like s can be replaced with uh, as we said that if a bracket opens then it should also be closed and uh, we put s inside the brackets that shows that we can have nested brackets brackets inside another other brackets so, and we also said that brackets followed by brackets for that purpose i am writing s over here that s dot s s and we can also say that there will be no expression at all uh, so i'm uh, writing lambda here because in order to terminate the s now consider we are uh, recognizing this set of uh, brackets that whether they are acceptable or not whether the, bra uh, the bra brackets are acceptable or not so for this we will first select uh, the production s can be replaced with s s then this single s will be replaced with s uh, in parentheses and uh, then this is once again will be rep uh, replaced with s in parentheses and then s this s will be replaced with lambda so we will come up with the uh, uh, parentheses parentheses and then closing parentheses so this set has been completed it means that this part has been done now let's see that in this part you can see the opening brackets uh, bracket is here while closing is here and inside this there are uh, it means that there are nested brackets 
and uh, again in nested brackets they are uh, followed by in another set of brackets and here you can see that uh, nested brackets inside uh, uh, another brackets so for that I'm again replacing s with s in parenthesis means that I'm selecting the first first production on this one then this s can be replaced with double s okay because we have two sets over here uh, this part and this part again uh, this s uh, this single s can be replaced with ss because we have two um, uh, you can see here that we have two bracket sets followed by each other uh, now this s can be replaced with s and the brackets and this uh, will lead us to this position and now this s will be replaced with s in the bracket so and we come up with this combination now it's time to deal with this one this can be replaced with s in brackets so and because we need a nested brackets so i replaced s once again with the this is in the brackets so and eventually we come off with the this pattern and this is the valid pattern of parenthesis that means that these uh, balance these brackets are balanced brackets it is just uh, uh, a blueprint of brackets you can also use expression inside this okay so uh, if you are interested in bracket uh, in, in, in an equation which consists of brackets as well as operator and operands then you will have to uh, incorporate this grammar in the previous grammar that we have uh, discussed Uh, now consider the expression the expression that we are interested in and, and uh, uh, I have the previous grammar that we had discussed in which we were just uh, we, we had just considered uh, a linear expression without brackets but now the expression that I am uh, deriving is the one in which there will be brackets so, so e, e is the start symbol e is the start symbol that can be replaced with e and the brackets just like the previous example e plus e e steric e e divided by e e minus e and either a or b so this is the definition of expression and now let's suppose we are considering this expression we are deriving this expression with this grammar so first e can be replaced with e minus e why because if you see at this expression then it consists of two major parts the first part and this is the second part and both parts are separated with minus so i will uh, select a production this production uh, this one okay so uh, e minus e production is selected now in the first part in the in, in the leftmost part uh, we uh, replace e with the e steric e because if you uh, you can see that this part and uh, this part uh, are in multiplication and again in the first e you can see that uh, the first part is in brackets so i am replacing this e with the e and brackets and then uh, because inside the brackets there is uh, a plus b so i am replacing e with e plus e and now e can be replaced with a and e can be replaced with b so we are done with this part now we are going toward this sub part and this part you can see that division is the operator the the uh, first the bracket is important so we'll uh, uh, introduce brackets so e can be replaced with e in brackets and then division divides this expression into two parts so, so we will uh, uh, follow the uh, the production that e can be replaced with e divided by e and now this e can be replaced with a because one part of this is, uh, consists of just a and another part uh, will be replaced with e in brackets because you can see that uh, here are once again brackets these are the brackets uh, till here sorry so e can be replaced with e and brackets and again uh, with this done uh, e can be replaced once again with the uh, e steric e because you can see that this direct divides the sub expression into two parts okay and the first e is replaced with a while the second e is replaced with e steric e because here is another multiplication at this location you can see here <coughs> okay so 
this will be replaced with a and e steric e then this e will be taken in brackets and this e will be replaced with a and this is how that done uh, you can see that now it has been moved up here so you can see that e can be replaced with a and e can be replaced with b so this production has been followed over here and now it's the final turn that this e can be replaced with b and you can see that this is expression that uh, looks uh, a pretty complex expression has been recognized by our grammar so this was the expression that was the uh, uh, grammar that can recognize any mathematical expression that has uh, brackets and there should be bracket balance <coughs> Consider the CFG G, uh, G is a uh, grammar that has uh, some V's, sigmas, R and S means that uh, we, uh, with V is equal to S and Z okay and sigma is equal to 0 and 1 and productions are these these are the production S can be replaced with 0 S1 and R 0 A1 S can be replaced with 0 A or uh, sigma uh, sorry epsilon epsilon or lambda <coughs> yeah. one thing that should be noted that this uh, lambda and sigma has been interchangeably used in my discussion so you will have to keep in account that uh, sigma and uh, lambda uh, are considered same thing over here now consider the relation of its language what language it uh, derives so first s can be produced with 0 s1 and you can see over here Okay, <coughs> consider this uh, first uh, production 0s1. Again, s is replaced with 0s1. So, this part. Again, this s is replaced with 0s1. So, this part. Again, this s is uh, replaced with 0a1. 0a, just 0 and a. Okay, because it can be replaced with 0 and a. <coughs> and uh, once okay uh, so and then this uh, a will be replaced with uh, sorry this should be s uh, zero oh, so sorry <coughs> this production has been followed okay so if this production has been followed then at a zero a one okay and again uh for a for this uh, for this position a a has been again replaced with 0 a 1 and again this a has been replaced with 0 a 1 so you can see that uh, 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 sorry in the final uh, in the final phase in this phase uh, the production that has been selected is this one 0 a so if you see or here that what kind of words it is producing it, here you can see that uh, 0 and followed by some 1 because we can replace s with m, uh, lambda so uh, this can be our 0011000111 four zeros four ones uh, four zeros four ones uh, uh, similarly here you can see five zeros and four ones similarly here six zeros and four ones so it means that the language that is generated by this grammar is zero power m and n power n and this is the language that we had uh, uh, we, we had proved in the previous section uh, sorry in the next in, in the previous lecture that this was a non uh, non regular language but here you can see that this language is a context free language so it means that a language that is not regular can also be a context free language but once a language is context free it doesn't guarantee that it must be a uh, regular expression uh, regular language okay so this is the uh, so the language of the grammar we will write formally uh, this uh, uh, this whole definition this whole discussion can be formally written as the that uh, the language of the grammar g which is being discussed about this grammar okay the language of this grammar is equal to 0 power m 1 power n where m is greater than or equal to n because number of zeros number of zeros can be more than number of ones or can be equal to number of ones 
Rom, pero Rom is uh, a language in uh, in which uh, the all the words are said or read from uh, front and back in the same way. For example, A, if you read this A either from this way or from this way, it uh, is the same thing. Okay. Similarly, if I'm writing uh, something A, B, A, so A, B, A is another palindrome. In this palindrome, if you read this in this way, it will be A B A. Either you uh, uh, read it in this way, it will also be A B A. So this is called a palindrome. What you will have to do, you will have to construct a CFG for palindrome or A and B. Construct a context programmer for palindrome or A and B. Thank you so much. Fiamanul.